In this video, you will learn how to use congruence theorems to prove pairs of triangles are congruent. Recall that there are five congruence theorems that allow us to determine two triangles are congruent without being told they have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles and three pairs of congruent corresponding sides. When two triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding sides, we can say the triangles are congruent by the SSS congruence theorem. If two triangles have two pairs of congruent sides and their included angles are congruent, we can use the SAS congruence theorem. Notice the A is between the two S's, just as the angle is between the two sides in each triangle. There are also congruence theorems for when the triangles have two pairs of congruent angles and one congruent side. If the included sides are congruent, the triangles are congruent because of the ASA congruence theorem. However, if the congruent sides are across from a pair of congruent angles, we can use the AAS congruence theorem to say the triangles are congruent. The final theorem only applies to right triangles. If two right triangles have congruent hypotenuses and a pair of congruent legs, they are congruent by the HL congruence theorem. Having one of these combinations of congruent parts is necessary and sufficient to prove the triangles are congruent. Let's look at some triangles. Based on the labeled dimensions, which congruence theorem, if any, can be used to prove each pair of triangles are congruent? The triangles in set 1 have two pairs of congruent sides and a pair of congruent angles. Because the congruent angles are the included angles for the congruent sides, we can say the two triangles are congruent by the side angle side triangle congruence theorem. The triangles in set 2 also have a two sets of congruent sides and a pair of congruent angles. However, the angles are not in a place that matches one of the congruence theorems. There is not a side-side angle congruence theorem, and we have no other information about the triangles, so we cannot say for sure if the triangles are congruent. Finally, in set 3, the triangles have two sets of congruent angles and a set of congruent sides. Notice the congruent sides are both across from the 30 degree angle. This means we can use the angle-angle-side congruence theorem to prove the triangles are congruent. Now you know more about using triangle congruence theorems to prove two triangles are congruent. Thanks for watching.